I went to the Botanic Garden today to uh, take some photos and um, I was wearing my dress and I had a flower crown and um, I had some pointy ears on. Um, I did my makeup. Look at it. It's cute. Um, but I kept bumping into these little girls um, and they were so cute and they just kept like staring at me. And um, one of them asked, are you a real fairy? And I said, sometimes. Um, and they were just like completely like like awestruck um, and their mom was like my girls love your dress uh, can we take some photos with you and so we did and they were so cute I love little kids stay whimsical my friends Legend has it that the moss goes on the north side of the trees Legend has it when the rains come down all the worms come up to Okay, so I decided to make one of these except like grandma slash cottagecore edition. Put a finger down if you know how to knit, sew, or crochet. Own more than five sweaters. If you will collect like little objects of animals or just weird tiny objects. Own more than three flower printed clothing items. Have a record player. Have these exact bed sheets. Have flowers or dried flowers around your room like tea, love to bake, love to take pictures of your friends, have more than two glass bottles in your room, get easily startled if you're often cold, spend a lot of time outside, if your favorite color or one of your favorite colors is yellow, if you go to bed early, you love to read or scrapbook, or love the aesthetic of fungi and mushrooms. How many do you have left? Let me see. Hi guys! I decided to take a break from making art and decided to turn my hand at making some pretzels. It seemed like an easy enough recipe after making bagels, so I decided to give it a go. I watched a YouTube video for it and it was pretty helpful, so I'm going to link it down in the comments in case you guys want to try yourselves. I think the hardest thing about doing this recipe was actually figuring out how to make the pretzel shape. I wanted to do it like you see the professionals do it, where you spin it around and it works out just right. Yeah, that almost never worked for me. You also have to put it in a baking soda and water solution that's warm so that it gets that pretzel flavor. I thought that was pretty silly, but it really does make a difference. Then, you know, just add a ton of salt because my fiancé and I really love salt. Who doesn't like salt? I didn't expect these to come out as well as they did, but they came out a nice soft golden brown. I covered them with butter and then dipped them in some homemade beer cheese. Thanks for watching! I'm
I'm in the middle of the woods and I found this mailbox and I was like, what's in it? A copy of Men in Black 2 on DVD in a Ziploc bag, I guess. Anyone else want to just like move off the grid into a cottage in the middle of the forest where you can bathe in a nearby stream and make your own quilts and grow your own herbs and spices and dance with the fairies because same. Things in my dragon cave of a bedroom that probably only make sense to me. There's an axe head that I just kind of have. It's in a log and it's on my floor. And it's the painting of Keanu Reeves next to my mirror so he tells people that they're breathtaking when they look at themselves in the mirror. The Garfield corner and also more Garfield on my desk. Uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy is here in my room. Uh, these jars which contain a fish hook that was stuck in my dad's hand and the stitches that came out of my head from when I got hit by a boat. Denim chicken. An army of rock fact rocks. Oh, and I also have hundreds of bones.